part of the magic of puppetry is that you, as the puppeteer, endow that puppet with that emotion so that the audience can feel it through the puppet. There's kind of a weird magic that occurs um, and I'm still figuring out how that all happens. With the larger pelicans being so heavy, it is quite physically taxing work, but it kind of at the same time helps you get into it more when you can feel the weight of a puppet and you kind of have that to work against. The biggest thing I think is that uh, dancing is movement within your own body. Puppetry is movement in something external of you. So for me, um, I think the best way in for me has been finding what rhythms or pace a particular puppet would move in. Finding those qualities within my own body first and then using the puppet as an extension of those things. With the puppetry, it's curiosity. A lot of the time, because we're present on stage, so you'll see everything we do. We're not hiding the, the tricks, we're not hiding any of that, but eventually the audience, they make the choice whether or not to watch us or the puppet, and usually they'll watch the puppet because it's alive. Most of the time I am playing Percival, the pelican, but in some moments I'm also playing kind of the memory of um, the mother of Stormboy. I think it's a really, it's almost like an echo in the space um, of her presence. And I think it is really important, given that it is such a masculine space, but they have been so influenced by the, the absence of the feminine. In the show itself, we each have our own little pelican that we look after. I look after Mr. Proud, who is exactly that. He's proud and boisterous and just wants fish. The play and imagination that is within the show is going to be wonderful for kids you know, and adults alike, but just to see that imagination and play within the puppets and within the actors is just gonna be a joy for everyone to, to watch and experience and for us to experience, like on stage. We have so much fun. As adults, we forget how to play and kids just love playing. So when that's happening on stage and the kids can imagine and sit in that world and make the puppets from their perspective, the animal or the creature or the person that they want it to be. I think there's a real magic in that and it makes them lean in. It's just so wonderful to be a part of and it feels like you've got these massive teams of people all working to make such a beautiful, ultimately so many beautiful images and moments happen on stage for audiences to enjoy.